Hi guys, this is Dr. McKinney. I'm here with Chris French, who's going to be our guinea pig for this video. Howdy. Uh, we're going to try and keep this really short uh, to show you how you're going to get into a service called Adfinity uh, to do some of your calculus homework for this semester. So the first thing you need to do is just log into Canvas and you'll see a tile here uh, for Math 111 Calculus 1. So click that and then you will see the Canvas page for the course with lots of info and links to videos and things. We're currently recording the Intro to Adfinity video, so the link for that will go right there when we're done. Um, but what we're going to do is show you how you'll get into uh, the very first assignment for the course, which is uh, due Sunday evening, so I hope you didn't have plans this weekend. Um, it's called Daily Homework Sunday Week 2. Really creative. So uh, we're going to click that and that's going to bring up the assignment window. Uh, and in this case, if you ever see an assignment window that looks kind of like this, where it says, this tool needs to be uh, excuse me, loaded in a new browser window, and then there's a button here, we're going to click that button, and it's going to take us to Adfinity. Um, you do not have to have a separate login for Infinity. It's all linked in through Canvas, so you'll get to everything from Canvas. Uh, and then what it'll do is when you click on that, it'll take you to uh, a current assignment. The very first time that you click the button, it will ask you to agree to the user terms and conditions and sign your life away. Uh, it will also ask you uh, for a license information. The college has already paid for all of those, so there should just be a little green button, and that's all you have to click. It's not rocket science. So in this case, it's going to take us to uh, the first assignment. And uh, we've already done the first question here, which is a multiple choice question. Uh, but then in the second question, we have something that's not multiple choice. Uh, so here, uh, the problem asks us to solve for a, uh, a solve for y in this equation. Now that's clearly going to be a fraction. So in this case, the answer is going to be formatted as the top answer is the numerator the bottom answer is the denominator. And for typing, you pretty much do what you would expect. Uh, 6 plus x, and I'll do 7 plus e to the x, um, something like that. That's clearly incorrect, but uh, you can pretty much type uh, the way you would expect to type, and it will render it mathematical looking. Um, you can also see down here at the bottom uh, the answers. It is showing you the answers as you have input them not necessarily the correct answers to the problem, but what you've typed. So if you have a really complicated expression, you can look at this and make sure that you've typed it correctly and not missed parentheses or made any typos or anything like that. Now simply typing the answer does not submit it. You have to hit the big green button that says submit answer, and it's going to tell us, of course, that in this case we're incorrect, and it will highlight everything red and then show you that it's red here to uh, make sure that you don't forget to go back and, and correct them. You can click the problem numbers and skip around and do the problem in any order you want. Uh, by default, it'll take you to the very beginning, of course. Uh, so here's another multiple choice question. And um, you have infinitely many tries on each of these problems, and that includes the multiple choice ones that have five possible answer choices. So you really should not be getting any multiple choice questions wrong uh, throughout the semester. But um, uh, so, you know, you can click around and see all the different answers. Um, you can enter, uh, some problems allow you to enter decimals or fractions. Uh, others are going to ask you for mathematical expressions or multiple choice questions. Uh, there will be some problems that we'll, we'll get to later in the semester that actually will have you interacting with a graph, uh, clicking points and things of that nature, uh, which we can talk about when we get there. So that's pretty straightforward how you get into Infinity. So just to recap, all you have to do is go into Canvas and any assignment that has this kind of little button you just click that button and it'll take you to the corresponding assignment on Adfinity and it will translate, uh, take your grades from Adfinity back to Canvas uh, and that's pretty much it. If you have questions, then you can come talk with any of the three of us from the calculus team. I'm Dr. McKinney. We also have Dr. Ansaldi and Dr. Gates who are over in the corner there uh, snickering when I say something silly. Um, so that's pretty much it.
and we're looking forward to a great semester with you.